everyone. My name's Tyna Chrisman, and before I really dive into this talk, I'd like to share a quick little fact about myself. I'm a huge fan of all sorts of vocabulary. I'll even admit to having the mouth of a sailor every now and again. But there are a select few words that I absolutely cannot stand. The main word in particular that I call people out for using most is the word slut. Now picture this. You're logging into Facebook, back when it was super popular, let's say around 2011, 2012. As you're scrolling through your newsfeed, you see a picture of one of your friends. And they look nice, so you click on the photo. You start reading through the comments, and you're shocked by one in particular. This comment says, you are a slut, in capital letters. So, what do you do? Do you call this person out? Do you go so far as to report it? Or do you just ignore it? I can confidently stand up here today and tell you that I would actively try to do something to educate that person about what they were saying. Unfortunately, around the 2011-2012 Facebook era, I was the one commenting slut on people's pictures. So, how did I go from a place of per perpetuating such negative words on people's photos to a point where I absolutely cannot tolerate them? I used to call everyone a slut or whore. I would mainly say these things based upon what somebody was wearing or who slash how many people they were hooking up with. Sometimes there wasn't even a good reason. Then there'd also be the times where I'd throw out the occasional, hey, what's up, slut, as a way of greeting my friends. Regardless of the context, the word was not acceptable for me to be using so frequently, nonetheless at all. Of course, I realized that what I was saying had a negative effect on people, but I never thought much of it. Much like any nasty remark, it was partly done out of jealousy, insecurity, and plain ignorance. Throughout my preteen and teen years, I was called a slut often. I developed curves and breasts much earlier than other girls. Then this progressed even more as I went into middle school. I'd go to dances, dance with a few boys, and then I'd be harassed and labeled as a slut. And I absolutely hated it. Yet that never stopped me from projecting that onto other people. I guess I never really thought it was a huge problem because no one ever really formally called me out for it. Then, one night I was at some punk show in some basement in Philadelphia. The thing that I didn't know then was that the punk music scene is filled with some of the most anti-shaming type of people. While I was there, I was talking complete trash about this one girl for being a slut. Somebody overheard this, they came over and they immediately reprimanded me for what I was saying. I was totally thrown back by this and I had my guard up, so of course I tried to defend my case. After a little while, I started to cool down and listen to what this person actually had to say. What they said ended up changing my entire perspective. They very calmly explained to me how much power the words that I used hold. By the end of our talk, they grabbed my hands and said, the judgment of others will not put you ahead. Following that night, they sent me articles about the slut virgin mentality and I began to educate myself even further. After reading article upon article about the negative connotation that comes with words such as slut and prude, I made it my mission to abolish the, these, the uses of these words. I am now a passionate advocate and activist for stopping this mentality. Living in today's world places all of us in between a rock and a hard place. We're either going to be deemed as a slut or a prude and somehow there's no middle ground. The media is constantly bombarding its consumers with the importance of being sexy, but not too sexy or else you're a slut. Then there's also this expectation of purity and innocence, but if you don't engage in enough sexual activity or show skin, you're a prude. There's no winning and it absolutely sucks, yet society still promotes this mentality. By labeling somebody a slut or whore, you place him or her into a category that suggests that they have no self-respect. Self-respect is pride and confidence in oneself, but there's this misconception that it has to do with what a person wears. Now take a look at these two girls. Which girl do you think has more self-respect? The answer is simple, really. You can't tell just by what they're wearing. If there is one thing you truly take out of this talk, let it be this, what a person wears or how many people they are romantically or sexually involved with does not define their self-respect. And unless it affects you personally, you should not even be worried about it. There's so much more that goes into self-respect than what our society has taught us. Our generation claims to be so progressive, yet we allow for these setbacks. 
It is absurd that people think that people can be called sluts and prudes, and that's how their fundamental characteristics are formed, based simply upon what they choose to do with their own time or bodies. Along with that, here's an unsettling truth. If you support the use of the word slut, you are supporting rape culture. Rape culture is the normalization of sexual assault, typically through using the victim as a target of blame. By labeling somebody a slut or whore, you make this assumption that this person is incapable of saying no, which puts them at a higher risk for sexual assault. And that is something that nobody deserves or is asking for. And I know what you might be thinking. Just because I use the word slut doesn't make me a rapist, so I'm not actually supporting it. No, it may not make you a rapist, but it can make you a rapist sympathizer. A common excuse in rape culture today is, she was asking for it by what she was wearing, or she's just a slut anyway. So, by calling somebody a slut, you give rapists a false sense of validation for their actions. Don't be the person to support rape culture or give rapists a sense of acceptance. All you have to do is stop using such derogatory terms. You're also probably thinking, what about those people being called virgins and prudes? Yeah, well, that's not much better either. By labeling somebody a virgin or prude, you take away their freedom to say no for whatever reason. It puts an enormous amount of pressure on somebody to dress a certain way or do certain sexual acts upon being called a prude. This is outrageous. There's also now even this developing stigma amongst teenagers that being a virgin somehow decreases a person's value. Number one, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being a virgin. Number two, a person's sexuality is not proportional to their self-worth. So somebody's worth should not go down simply because they have not had sex. Everybody has a different level of comfort. Nobody should feel belittled or pressured. It's 2015. If somebody wants to be having sex, great. If somebody wants to choose on to hold off on having sex, that's great. If somebody wants to wear tiny shorts and a crop top, great. And if somebody wants to wear clothes that covers every inch of skin, also great. We need to stop calling people virgins and prudes. And sluts and whores, what a person does is their choice. I've made the choice to grow from my ignorance and alter my perspective. Now you as the audience have the choice to stop living with this slut virgin mentality. Thank you.